What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have pushed down the uh, the internal regions of the Americas and we've laid siege to the city of New Orleans. We've caught a Louisiana force embarking aboard ship. They are too far away to help them. So we now have to march into New Orleans and destroy the Louisiana, the Louisiana Empire for good. They have a reasonable force of infantry in the form of the Royal Escossais, however the a significant bulk of their troops are heavily depleted, so let's destroy them for good. We'll remove them from the Empire and we'll have the Cherokee Empire completely surrounded, so it should be a fairly simple matter to engulf them with our three armies and then uh, destroy them in short order. So we take New Orleans, probably hop over to Europe and fight a battle, fight the Battle of Prague. Okay, so guns are going to be deployed wide on this slight rise. I'm probably going to deploy my regular lines are slightly better at melee on the left because we're going to be pushing with the native encampment on our left flank so we might get involved in some melee action there. My Hessian line are going to go wide to maximize the firepower. Split up our cavalry is a mixture of light and heavy on both flanks. My frontiersmen are going to advance through the camp. My general is going to sit back. So let's take my regular line and push them up. Then we've got our other infantry here. Get our cavalry up to attack the enemy. We're attacking their garrison mortar units. Let's take our frontiersmen and advance them. Yeah, they get exposed when we push them up. But let's bring up our cavalry, lest their tribal auxiliary think of them as an easy opportunity. And my cavalry's up front to try and scare away their tribal auxiliary. That unit of light cavalry will be engaged by my infantry. Let's get these guys to fire it will off. Yeah, lost to Curiosier due to musket fire. You men cease fire. Got more cavalry coming in, but let's get the surround going. So push up some of my Hessian troops. I don't mind if they get involved in the combat. It's not ideal if they get involved in the combat, but Hello, hidden units. So let's take my light horse and push the flank aggressively. If my infantry do get involved in this action, yeah, it's enough. The cavalry have got enough to break them. So let's keep the cavalry there. Box. Let's get our cavalry over here. I mean, there's a massive block of enemy troops here in the centre. Let's get our Hessian line to be fire at will on. Where's our cavalry? Curious, yeah, get the armed citizenry. Let's get our hussars in against the mortars. Focus our artillery against this massive concentration of enemy troops. Let's take these Hessian units and continue the surround. It's Escusse in the trees over here. Going after the mortars, but I'll then gladly chase down their escusse. Curacier have charged straight into this combat just to tie them up. It looks like we're going to have quite a good time attacking in the centre. Frontiersmen advance. I might get my hussars out of that combat actually, because they're asking to get quite heavily engaged. Clone your lines routing. Okay, their infantry position has collapsed. So push up. Hussars chase down their native bowman auxiliary on the flank. Get my frontiersmen to advance. This regiment of foot's been quite pivotal on the flank. The curiosity, yeah, that's probably a bad engagement for them. Let's try to get them out of there. 
and Hussars will chase down the native bows and make sure they are annihilated. To be honest, they are done for. I mean, to be honest, the truth of the matter is that a lot of my troops aren't even going to really be engaging the enemy at all. So select new artillery targets. Cura de Bois are in perfect range to be attacked. The native Bowman Auxiliary still fighting. should soon fall. Coeur de Bois have gone down. It's unit of Colonial Line Infantry should be being engaged by our line. Fundamentally we don't have to destroy them, we just have to chase them off of the battlefield. The last unit they've got to stop us is a colonial line, so let's push up our Hessian infantry and the 4th regiment of foot. They're going to be surrounded. They don't have bayonets, they're not going to have advanced firing drills, they're not going to have all sorts of things. Okay, maybe chase down this unit of Royal Escossais, because there's 160 of them. And they could very well turn around and come back. They are guard infantry after all. That's what they do. They've got better morale. Ah, oh, this poor, poor unit. Yeah, they've taken a volley from that regiment of foot. <laughs> yeah, they're dying hard. You're just lucky that unit's not ready to fire. Charge the Curacier into the Royal Escossais, the Light Cavalry into the Armed Citizenry. Okay, redirect your charge into the armed citizenry. Although some of them just went absolutely flying. Hello. Mount Tribal Auxiliary has returned. Ah, oh, they're my artillery are out of, are long out of range. File come citizenry are done for. Okay, let's speed it. Okay, they're routed. Good. Louisiana has been destroyed. That's pretty nice. So long. Farewell. Let's repair the government building and let's repair our army. Here. Oh, pardon me. So I'm demolishing the port. Let's put a sloop to occupy this. Yeah, so we can head west into Vladibera. Uh, but I'm probably going to move this army up close to the border to strike north into the Cherokee territory once we're ready. Because you'll be in a good position to attack Chikasa. This army will be ready to move on to Teleco. Then we'll, we've got a choice of two armies to hit Savannah but in one turn we should clear them out. Then back in Spain we've got a lot of things we can do actually. So if I take this army out of Genoa I'll be very unhappy. But I've got my Dragoons in Rome to push up there. I've got a Fusilier unit that can go to Raimundo de Cuna. So Santos Reyes, which I know is down to minus one, which isn't ideal, but they'll get over it. So Santos Reyes is also going to march back to the homeland. As is Tito Cardina, because you... Well, we need to start looking at India for potential expansion, especially as we're already doing quite well down here, as we beef up our force here at Baghdad. Eventually we're going to be hit by Persia, so I'd like to try and hit Nerun. I can easily defend myself from Indian stacks marching up across this river and maybe even this crossing point, but I can gobble up Persia while I consolidate my power in Central Europe. So probably want to take 
So we're still sieging Dresden. I'm just going to... I might carry on doing that because we're maintaining the pressure but still keeping cool in terms of cost. I want to take Mr. Morales and attack this force here at Buda and Pest. To push back this Austrian force. Because we are... If I push them back, I can advance up to the gap between the Carpathian Mountains, or the western edge of the Carpathian Mountains, and I guess the Danube. I don't really remember if that river on the map ends up ultimately going south or east. Um, but it's the right it's the right sort of area. But again, the Danube spans a huge chunk of Europe, so, so it's kind of near the Danube is listing quite a lot of places. Fundamentally... I need to limit, well not limit my captures of cities, but I need to bear in mind that I have a limited budget to try and immediately fix them. So I need to spend what money I do have carefully, and that's probably defeating the enemy in the field where they can advance against me. So you men hit... That unit of Swiss line, you men hit that unit of provincial cavalry. All my artillery is going to open up against the demi cannons in the centre. The light horse are coming in. Quick climbs coming in against the Swiss line. So that's just a, done a huge amount of damage to them. Let's let my infantry damage this unit of hussars. The Desufi hussars. Well, I don't need to push on the right flank as well. So the cannons, they've lost. One trading team, that was after they deployed. So let's take our left flank and advance. My right flank is about to get hammered, so push my cuirassier up. Now it's provincial cavalry and light horse, so they're not going to drive home any attacks. So the 15th Regiment form into square. Yeah, that immediately made them abandon the attack. Curacier slam into the light horse. You men all pursue them. So let's give you guys a movement order to advance up the hill. We need to bring me to advance up to their defensive position. The you men push up the right flank. So my hussars, they start, they've managed to get out of range from my, ooh, for some of my quick climb. Push my hussars up. Then we've got provincial cavalry advancing. The general's bodyguards are within range. Yeah, we're starting to shoot men off their horses from the 13th Regiment of Horse. Yep. General's bodyguard took a volley, and that's them out of the question. You men are running. Got another charge of hussars. Form Square, not that bothered about Hussar charges. Took a lot of damage to get to my lines, and they're going to take even more, even after turning, uh, forming Square. Guards are starting to engage the 7th Regiment of Foot, which would be lovely. Oh no, they're going to start engaging the Hussars. All my guns... Attack the 33rd Regiment behind the lines. Although I might slam you guys into the Swiss line, which means that my howitzers can focus some of these other units. You men, cease fire and reload. Hussars are fighting over there. We're dealing with the 18th Regiment there. So these three units advance them up the line like so. I was hoping my hussars would be a bit more 
devastating than that, but then again, we are light horse, so let's run my cavalry out of the way, make you men fire at will, so then while they're still a target, pour a couple of volleys in. My guys obviously didn't like that. Ceasefire. Now my hussars can, t can take them out. So then these units can push up to try and surround their infantry, fire well on, because this Swiss line unit will not be sticking around for very long. Pushed back the 18th regiment. So my right wing push up. Keep pushing up. Kill that last Swiss infantryman. Oh, just smash straight into him. Charge in against the grenadiers. So you guys are probably going to fire it well off so my hussars can mop up the grenadiers. Get my artillery to engage the line infantry. Get all my howitzers to focus on that regiment of foot. Bring my crossier back to hit the 18th. She maybe hit the demi cannon crew because there's only six of them. These men advance up against the threat. Up, advance into the threat up the hill. Looks like... No. Shouldn't really have made you attack. Quick climb coming in, so that's going to break my cavalry. Say la vie. Demi cannons. Routing. Straighten up our line. I'm, I'm content to let these three push up against... 33rd Regiment. My Curiosity are going to do short, make short work of the 18th. Yes, look at you. Let's kill those guys. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh my god, these guys have got A, an accurate shot against the gunners that actually sat here being like, maybe we should fire the cannons, guys. Didn't work so well, did it? Push up. New men push up a bit further around the action. There we go, they've abandoned their position. Ceasefire, you guys. Should win that. The field artillery engaged the 33rd regiment of Swiss line. Swiss line are very potent, but then again, we got some pretty good infantry ourselves. Yeah, the 18th Regiment's routing, or wavering, sorry. Soon they will break. Break beneath the hooves of my cuirassier. Oh, you fire well off. I am sorry. There we go, we're returning fire. How oh, it's a ceasefire. Because now, if you guys don't break, yeah, if you guys don't break, you're going to be absolutely annihilated. So let's watch this action unfold in quick time. But we're going to end it there. We're just going to try and push them north. We're not trying to, well, you could try and wipe them out, but that's not what we're... We're not so bothered about that. They've only got 200 men remaining. The further north we squeeze them, the more they're going to have to combine their forces. So, Mr. Capitello, advance up to here. Mr. Demo... Actually, first of all, Mr. Coronado, advance to just at the edge of the woods. 
Mr. Demacado is going to demand the surrender of Munich. So the city is taken, so he's going to have to stay here for now. I'm going to take our rake and send our rake on a long walk to Lahore. So you're, you're on, your, on your way back, as are you. The Hanover force here is not... It's not critical they stay here, but they're acting as a good deterrent for De for Denmark, and soon we will, we will finish them off. We're going to maintain the siege of Dresden because of a financial position. 83,000 next turn. Our trade with Mysore is being blocked, and that's because of that. Ottoman ship. Not Ottoman ship. Austrian ship. What is it? It's fifth rate. So send a handful of ships to just take out that fifth rate. So at the very least, that port is protected, but not raided. That's the important thing. So let's keep that port open. We've got 1,500 left. Can we upgrade any farms anywhere? Yeah, we can. Or is that better spent on roads? Better spent repairing the iron workshop, I think, is the best way to spend it. And upgrade the farm. Good. So now back up to 98,000. We could attack Yerevan, but I'm not going to. I want to keep Mr. Kiroga replenishing. To be honest, we've just got lots of things, lots of places we need to spend money. Really? So let's hit end turn. Get another turn's worth of income. Yeah, our spies continue to push. But three armies is a good number to land at Nerun to hold that key river crossing. Well, one can hold the key river crossing, one can hit Nerun and go north to help protect us from that direction. But then. Ooh, hello. What's this? Ooh, eh, fall back. I would like to get a bit more replenishment for that force. That was the force whose hussars, not hussars, howitzers, got a bit too close to the action last time. And they're sallying out from Dresden. Perfect. Come on, Mr. Cervante. Let's cut down these Austrians. I don't think this is their last turn. I think it's their second to last turn. So we won't be capturing the city in this action, but we will be... Significantly depleting the garrison to the point where next turn we can attack. That's all. That's all to the good of our campaign. Because I mean, this Spanish campaign just—it took off and never stopped. So let's get our gunners up on the hill. Create a nice, solid line position. Then on one flank, we're going to put our Swiss line behind cavalry defences. On the other, ha on the other flank, we're going to put. No, we're not. Um, unless I move my whole formation, which I'm not going to do. Spread out my pikes. Group up my regiments of horse on the right flank. General in the centre. Howitzers scattered so when you put them you can put them in defenses i think i don't think it matters i think they do still pivot but you know if your howitzers are getting attacked they're never the focus of counter battery fire for too long general is in the center okay switch my howitzers to round shot it's not going to help my artillery focus on their horse artillery Cavalry charge going in, I can hear it. To be honest, we have a dominance of the left flank, so we're probably going to take these men, take this section of the high ground and advance our line. A 
us. Our howitzers are beginning to engage. Provincial cavalry is going on a sh is going in a straight line to my Swiss infantry. I'm content to let them fire round shot for now. They're just going to be slamming rounds into the provincial cavalry. Like, look, if they come right at us. Okay, you're right. They are piv pivoting towards my cavalry. Let's get my pikemen up. Fundamentally, I don't want to form square because I want them to come at me. <laughs> I want them to hit my lines. So actually, you guys might... Well, I can, they can fire. I was about to say maybe we should turn fire well off to let them come, but maybe not. You hit that unit of lancers, you hit that unit of carabiner, you hit that unit of light horse. Provincial militia, line infantry, blunderbuss, line infantry, Swiss guard, it'd be nice to kill, expat infantry. Bring my other unit of pikes down here. I mean, they're still coming. They're still coming. If they're obsessed enough to try and hit my line, then they can try. Oh, they got shot in the back by their own cuirassier. These are lancers. They're going to do damage on the flank, but let them because spikes are a thing. drop into square just to further enhance the damage because look at that what a terrible offense what a terrible oh god especially when the carabiners kill their own cavalry don't even need to kill them like that let's take my line in advance because it looks like they're doing a terrible job at coordinating their attack. Which is it looks like we might end up having to... Okay, let's counter charge with my pikes. Let's get them in. Let's annihilate the blunderbuss shotgunners. All my howitzers engage garrison militia to the rear. Enemy general's been knocked out. So you men form line, push my pikes up on the flank. Horse artillery's gone. Gunners on the hill engage the garrison militia. There! They went round the front. I thought they'd go round the back. Well, sorry, 49th Regiment. So I had to send in my pikes because they're looking a bit isolated. If we can knock out. 24th Regiment. There we go. Perfect. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Let's just throw my cavalry in to directly support the combat rather than chasing down those Swiss Guard. So my pikemen need a bit of support and I think two regiments of horse into the rear of this engagement is, is exactly the kind of support they're after. The militia are already wavering. Oh, they're broken. Mass route. Now it's has engaged the carabiner. Gunners attack the horse artillery. Actually, let's take a cavalry unit out of that. Let's stop our artillery. Our regiment of horse can chase down the horse artillery. Pikemen charge on into the guards because they're 
they are routing. Yeah, there we go. Provincial line still holding on hope. As is a unit of line infantry, so let's consolidate our line a bit in a bit of a better position. Go after the Swiss Guards, because the, that's the unit that'll come back. Come on. Because they've only lost 40 men. And Swiss Guard, they're a foot guard unit, so they are sturdy. So you need to make sure you chop away a few of these chaps. Just so they don't get any bright ideas. There we go. The army is destroyed. So that's the garrison of um, Prague. What was it Dresden? Dresden, sorry. Dresden brought down a peg. Yeah, the Ottomans are circling, but they don't have the punch needed to land a killer blow. So what they're going to experience is a bit of a, a lack of firepower, and you're going to leave Moscow open for attack. The army I've got near Moscow isn't ready to attack yet, but they can put it under siege. Hmm, you may attempt to steal our secrets. You may attempt it. And you can carry on massing, because that's territory near Kiev. Granted, they don't have they don't have that much of a good garrison yet, but they will soon get it. Yeah, Cherokee knows something's up. They definitely know something is awry. Raids are okay. So Mr. Morales push forward and attack that lone Carabina unit. Lost 361 men. So we may keep replenishing. Upgrade that building there. Okay, it's not going mad. I need to re I need to repair these buildings in Munich first. Mr. Demicado. Okay, so you are ready to attack Dresden. And that will bring in this force here. If you attack this force, that might draw in the garrison for a pitched battle. And then Prague, they'll be pushed back there. And then we've got this army that's within striking distance of Minsk so possibly we could destroy the Austrians. Three more turns till we get um, fortifications here in Kiev. Let's get some fusiliers and a couple of units of guns. Uh, 85,000. Okay so 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 so. You are going to position to attack Genoa it's Felix Gallas. What they could do with is some... Well, I'm, uh, I'm reluctant to give them any more special units because we'll soon run out if you put too many special ones in an army. And I've got quite a few more armies to build, so I think I'm going to be... I'm going to call Felix. I'm going to call his forces done. He's going to march to the south. Cadiz, you are going to start building... A selection of fourth, uh, fifth rates to send over to uh, the Spanish frontier. Let's upgrade a couple of these buildings to make sure we are just from a just from a, um, a planning side. I think it's I find it easier to focus on spending plans. West to east, so that way I kind of go, okay, I've, I once I've you know, fully upgraded England, I don't have to look at England and, England and Scotland anymore. Start to look to the east, upgrade a couple more of these industrial buildings. But I want to go check out any places that have got roads completed, because roads are easier to forget. Okay, there's a bunch of roads. Okay, so Mr. Mazdur. Mazdur, Mazdur, Mazdur. Can go put Moscow under siege. Because this force 
that could have stopped them has left. But first, I think our duty is to destroy the Austrians, because then that frees up a whole bunch of troops to storm east. So let's start at the top. Take Mr. Cervante. He is going to attack the, the garrison here at Dresden, plus that reinforcing army there. I might even go straight for Prague and forget the attacking the um, troops outside of the city, because that way at least I know I'll catch it. But I think in this in this episode, do it, yeah, it's doable. Well, I think it is. It's definitely doable to capture these three remaining cities because none of them have a particularly strong garrison. This force is. This force has been gutted in the previous action. There we go. Form. Form our line. Oops. I was short a handful of men. Our pikes are going to advance up either flank with the cavalry. General, stay nice and safe. I accidentally selected my cavalry again. So the enemy are coming in. The enemy are coming in from on, on our right flank. So let's advance our troops like so. Quick climb with some near misses should do some a huge amount of damage. They're coming in from behind the city, which is a bit of a bummer. Well, let's take both of our cavalry units and get them over here. Same with a Swiss pike unit. We're going to want to swarm in and knock them out. The Carabiner are getting within skirmish range. But I don't think they're going to handle the amount of return fire they're going to see. Provincial Cavalry is upset. 26th Regiment firing at will. I mean, if you make it to my lines, that's a real... You know, fair play for actually getting to the line. Guerrilla Mercenaries, Hussars, Warband. I had to divert some pikemen to go deal with deal with the troops that are the cavalry that are trying to charge the rear. Let's see if I can attack the guerrilla mercenaries with my howitzers. Let's see if we're in range. I mean fundamentally I can just take these units and just go boop. The hussars are going to be destroyed. Yeah, there we go. They've broken their resolve. So let's redeploy. Well, sort of redeploy. Let's just get my cavalry here. Yeah, I thought you didn't. You aren't taking my orders to charge that unit of warband. Good. I mean, my cavalry will clean up that hussar unit. Hopefully, they don't get a fire. They don't. They don't get a volley off in time. They kind of did. But not enough. Cavalry charge through to hit the mercenaries. Hussars are broken. Push on and hit the irregulars. Keep chasing down the rebellions. There's only three units coming in as reinforcements. Ceasefire the artillery is a bit of friendly fire because they're trying to kill. It's trying to fire. They're yeah, firing like that. So someone's got their head blown off by a cannonball fired from directly behind them somewhere. Maybe not. There we go. So that is the first territory of this Austrian domination taken. So let's repair the buildings. 
replenish our army, knock down the school at Leipzig. Let's take our rake and send him to Ahmedabad. I don't mind if they take a long time. They've got to get through a lot of enemy territory first. So Mr. Coronado push on and attack Prague. So there's a couple of reinforcing units to come in. This army is pretty depleted as it is and is mostly artillery plus this army here that's a few cavalry and a bit of militia but fundamentally nothing that's caused us too many issues. So let's capture Prague. Then once we've captured Prague we can take Min well I believe it's Minsk, I can't remember. It's round about that area. And we will see the end of the Austrian faction, which will be a delightful outcome to have in this episode of the campaign. See, as people are doing building work outside the house, I really hope you guys don't hear too much of that. There's not a lot I can do. Um, so, let's get the guns deployed. Let's get the infantry set up. This is quite an experienced army getting put together now. Okay, you don't want to deploy in a line. There we go. Hold back my pikes and my cavalry as my reserve. So the one thing we're going to want to do is move up and spread out in good order. Oh, my howitzers as well. Always forget my howitzers. I'm aware one of my hearts is actually in an okay position. Well, no, they're not. They're isolated back over there. So my cavalry, my pikes, and my reserves, just to see where the enemy bring in their reinforcements. So my guns are fired there, volley. The hussars aren't suicide charging off the bat. But let's speed up time just a smidge. Yeah, the Hussars are about to experience a bit of gunfire from our troops. You guys aren't actually able to engage, so we're going to pivot you, spread you out wide. Then we've got... I mean, the right flank is going to fold pretty conclusively. You're in position, so you can unlimber with quicklime shots, because there's plenty of very viable targets for you. Question is, do they focus on? No. Oh. Hit that unit of Swiss Grenadiers to make sure they go down. Lots of these units will fall from volleys of muskets, musket fire. But I am curious to see where the enemy reinforcements come in from. Artillery inbound. Oh god, yeah, that's dealt with those grenadiers, alright. Switch targets. I mean, I want to get my howitzers in a bit of a safer position than where they currently are. Let's get some more of these men firing their volleys. What are, we, what are they up against? Marines, infantry, provincial line, marines, militia. Maybe I want to pick off a unit of marines. Because these units are a bit strung out, but the idea is that they will, in due course, be... Well, fundamentally, there'll be so much... There'll be just a massive crossfire that they won't be, that it will be a bit too devastating for them to maintain their position. The Hussars are going down because they're, they're being fired at by was well, collateral damage trying to engage infantry. But how it says to fire any time now, that would be great. There we go, shots away. So even at not necessarily the right target, it's just in the area. So my field artillery engage... Well, don't engage anyone, actually, to be honest. I'm just enjoying... You can, we can engage, engage whoever you like, but I'm enjoying this absolute slaughter. So Irish Brigade is doing 
incredibly well. They're advancing into our lines in a massed manner. Starting to see our oh, unit routed, which limited who they shoot at. Provincial cavalry charged my Walloon infantry. Fortunately, my howitzers were a bit out of reach. There we go. A couple of these units are being knocked out. Yeah, the Marines made it to our line, which is a bit of a bummer. But I think they're going to not be entirely happy with the situation that they find themselves embroiled in. So enemy reinforcements coming in from all the way over here. That's super helpful. So far away. Two units against the Marines, bringing in my tertiary pikemen, ready to fend them off. New men on limber, push my infantry up. All my artillery, my howitzers at least, my field of foot artillery, sorry. Keep focusing on the enemy artillery. It's unfortunate really, the 13th regiment was very experienced, but they've actually taken a lot of damage because of this Marine charge. Fortunately, it's a lot of cavalry coming in for support at the moment, so they should make their way across pretty quickly. So my howitzer engage that unit of line infantry. I'm surprised the marines have stuck around as long as they have. Tessio pikemen are engaging very well. There we go, they've been pushed back. So let's use our infantry to plug the gap in the line with musket fire. Quick climb coming in. The unit of marines has been cut down to 86 troops. So they too should fall fairly quickly. Let's advance up our flank. Yes, I see you, General's bodyguard. Carcass shot, hitting my pikemen. So let's run some of our cavalry up. I mean, if they hit my Walloon guard, that's fine. They'll enjoy the sport. Everyone else, however, is content to simply massacre the enemy. So that's a unit of 12 pound of foot artillery. The 16th Regiment out on the flank is likely to break sometime soon. There they go. So now my right flank can push up. They're starting to witness some real challenges here. Go on, Wally in line. Ah, oh, the General's fallen. Let's get some cavalry over here. I know they've got some infantry, but let's see if we can pick off few of these enemy gunners. Advance. 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 They might see this as a weakness, but if they want to push in my, their provincial cavalry against us they're going to find it a lot more trouble than it's worth. Yeah there's unit of line infantry. Start to march some pikes over. There's no point in the howitzer really unlimbering. You men ready or able to engage the mortars you are. So my Walloon line. Are oh, they going to engage? Gauge the artillery if they like. Similar result. Not quite sure why my screen minimised there, because there was no pop-up, there was no warning. <laughs> oh, fine, you've all got sucked into hit through SARS. Let's 
let's advance. Advance across the board. Howitzers. Can't do anything. Artillery, I'd like to. What? The rotten swines. Oh well. If we lose Mr. Coronado to this, I will not be happy. Well, that was a complete bills up to, co to quote a low a low. Feel like a right duck head. You've only got to survive long enough for the... Long enough for the um, cavalry to arrive. Pun intended, kind of. You yeah, understand me, my cavalry's upset. Let's take all of these men, get them over here rapidly. Cavalry charge into the carabiner. Just run some infantry over here, try and knock them out. Can't lose Diogo. Well, to be honest, I might just pull him back because my cavalry is here. Who's that? Militia and Freud Corps line infantry. No! What happened? Tioko got shot in the back. No! He got shot in the back when I'm trying to leave the action. Charge my pikemen in. Remaining gun team hit the militia. Diego's staff can chase down Carabina in a measure of loyalty. You devils. In a way, it made sense, though, they were to my rear left, so I shouldn't really have been surprised by that, but. You know, sometimes when things are going too well. You men form line. I think. The infantry, yeah, it was going to run out without much help from us. Yes, down you go. Team and advance. Form square. Push you men up on the flank. If they're going to fight you in square, then these guys can break formation and go after the guns. Cavalry go off the line infantry. Now you might break my square, but these are Walloon line. They're still gonna be drawn into combat, I think. Okay, you men hold form square. You men charge into provincial cavalry, you guys knock out the artillery. Cavalry Hellstorm riding down onto the 6th Regiment of Foot. Yeah, they're going down. Six pounders are routing as well. At great cost, we took the city. At great cost. Sorry, Diogo, you've been here for a long time. You've got a cool name, but let's see who leads your force in your place. Obviously, one of their units routes west. So let's repair, 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 upgrade. Let's get a unit of the 13th infantryman, Nacio de la Cuesta. Nacio. 
Nacho! Nacho, Nacho man. I'm gonna be a Nacho man. So let's take the garrison here at Berlin. Because they shouldn't need it. Well, they don't need it. Chomp. Get back to Berlin. Let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. This army here. Let's repair the trade port. Mr. Roig, you are going to be replenished and then sent to Finland where we will send this ship across here to prevent resupply of Finland. Or at least easy resupply of Finland. You've got the last action here to take Minsk. And then that will leave a lot of options open for us. So let's go and attack the last Austrian holdout. The loss of my general, the loss of Mr. Coronado. He is going to go down in history. And it, and it is in his name that we attack the last city. And we're not going to leave a single man alive. All the tales of heroism and such like, not heroism, fairness and stuff like that be damned. The Spanish are out for blood. Let's form up. I mean, I really need to sort out the guns for this army. <laughs> they are... they do not need such insane amounts of artillery. At least this general will be a bit more protected. Advance! Cavalry come forward. All the guns, everyone's focusing on that unit of garrison militia. My guns focus on the provincial cavalry. See if we can soften them up before our light cavalry gets there. We might have been a bit too optimistic with where my infantry can get to. Take, take a step back if that's what needs to happen. If we can knock out that light cavalry, that'd be perfect. Because our infantry is about to come online. Grenadiers, fusiliers, point blank range. Where's my grenadier de marina? What about my Infanterie de Marina, which I think looks really good. Sweet. Cavalry's defeated. Get my own cavalry out on the flank. Quick climb coming in. Doing an awesome amount of work. I might actually get them focusing on some of these units on the flank. Because we're going to turn the right flank. No bother. Let our volleys speak for themselves. Hello, militia. Line infantry. Fancy seeing you here. My grenadiers have something to say to you. Kablamo! Swarm, swarm, swarm. Attack Panan Alpha. Only a unit of militia that stands between us and. Oh, there's two unit, three units of militia. Let's keep harassing the enemy. That unit of light cavalry, my strongest unit of light cavalry, is going to hit that unit of militia. Yep, yeah, they've been. Broken and turned into dust. Let 
you men are going to fire into the back of my cavalry, but that seems thematically correct. Charge into the fifth, though. Yeah, they are also routing. There we go. This is what happens, Austria. You might have killed one of my favourite generals, but by God, I'll make sure your empire doesn't survive. Yep, 14th. Came back temporarily, but then retreated. But no, let's not continue it too much longer. The end of their accursed faction is more than enough for me. I mean, I'm assuming that's the end of their faction. That could not be correct. I don't want to build fortifications. I want to fight on the field. And it is. Excellent. So now we can afford to take Arturo Cruz out of Vienna. Let's give him an offensive order to Yelgava. Mr. Galve can leave Hungary. He can push on to Vilnius. My spies continue their scouting. Got 16,000. Probably best bet is to do some economy spending. Keep Build the boarding house. Can this army... Mr. Demacado, can you leave Munich? Minus nine. Oh, it's because the oh, university's destroyed. Oh, it's because all of the other buildings are about to be fixed. Okay, let's put a craft workshop, because we'll assume they will be fine with us in the end. Signor Capitello. So we've got one, two, three armies. Let's bring you back. So that's four armies to push into um, to push into Italy, not Italy, India I'm an idiot let's push you to here probably spend the rest of my money doing a bit of grading and this force here under Christian Morales advance up ready to drive back this Russian force here push them back east Touch. yeah so yeah that's one of the that's one of the buildings we'd like to build let's get some farms built Berlin can get a craft workshop because in general they'll they're, they're gonna be pretty happy with us but looking at the timer I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Spain, now in a world with no Austria, finally. Cheers, everyone.